with Hall of Famers Grant Hill and Doris Burke. Allie LaForce, our reporter. And a chance now to look at the schedule for the Golden State Warriors. On Tuesday, they'll be facing Kevin Durant and the Phoenix Suns. Then on Friday, they head out on the road to face the Kings in Sacramento. What a great opportunity for this team to take a step forward. They have some tough road games coming up, and that kind of stretch can bring a team together. Winning some of these games would be huge for their overall confidence. And now the Washington Wizards starters. Kuzma, the four, down low with Gafford next to him. Jordan Poole out there with Tyus Jones. And it's Koulibaly in at the three, the small forward. And for the Warriors, the core of the Warriors dynasty on the floor. Curry and Clay is the guards with Draymond at the four. Kevon Looney is out there with Chris Paul. A day like no other. Opening night in the NBA. Doris, what are you most looking forward to this season? Well, the long, hot summer is... over finally to me one of my favorite things is watching the rookies which of those guys will make an immediate impact which guy gets the most time and then you know some second rounders always seem to surprise us the diamonds in the rough that are perhaps a little more prepared than we thought now here's jones here's gafford and the dunk by gafford not the tallest center in the league he more than makes up for it with those crazy hops. Curry passes to Looney. Back to Curry. Outside, Green. To the middle. And stolen by Jones. Out on his own on the break. Here's Gafford. And the dunk by Gafford. Yeah, Kyle Kuzma, we think of him as a scorer, but that was a tough target to miss. Wide open. First quarter of play, a minute in. Here's Paul. Thompson finds Paul. And he banks in the layup. Yeah. This ball opportunistic on the inside in that instance. Jones against Thompson. Gafford with a screen on Paul. Pool outside. On the wing, Kuzma, green covering, five to shoot. Kuzma, that's good. His offense really opens up when Kyle Kuzma is making that three-point shot. Curry against Poole. From deep. Curry, no good. The Wizards have gone three of three so far from the floor. Shot from the wing, and another basket for Washington. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. The Warriors have gone one for three so far. Curry against Poole. Curry passes to Paul. And here is Green. Down low. Here's Looney. And Looney with the slam. 
I think you pay the consequences if you leave Draymond Green's teammates open. He has a knack for getting the basketball where it needs to be. The Wizards have gone 4 of 4 from the floor. Perfect start. Curry against Poole to the inside. It's Kulabali. Shot from the low post is good. Impressive. Five straight makes. Love the play calling here. About three minutes gone in the first quarter. Oh, Thompson from deep three-point land. Rebound, Washington. We all know he's a good shooter. But from that distance, uh, I don't think so. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. Now here's Poole from downtown. Looney grabs a miss. And for a while, it seemed the Warriors were maintaining a dual timeline approach. But not anymore, Grant. No, sir, B.A. The Warriors setting their clocks and calendars to coincide with their superstar. One, Wardell Stephen Curry. Poole, the pass to Kuzma. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Thompson, a screen on Poole. Pass to Thompson. There's the triple. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. The speed with which Clay Thompson gets to his shooting motion off the catch makes him as dangerous as anyone. And so it's Jones who brings up the ball for Washington. They lead by four. Poole against Curry. Jones, the pass to Poole. Inside. Here's Gafford. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. And Grant, for years, the Wizards resisted calls to rebuild. But things changed this summer. Yeah, B.A., and even though the return for their stars wasn't as dramatic as we saw for teams like the Jazz, I think there's a sense of relief in D.C. that the organization is resetting and trying something new. And with a single punch in last season's training camp, it seems the Warriors' culture of joy and togetherness really took a hit, Grant. You know, I agree, B.A., and that's what they need to recover from. You know, keeping that connection and commitment to a common purpose is so crucial to winning. Here's Koulibaly. Pass to Poole. Now Kuzma. To the paint. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Koulibaly's got his second bucket on the night. Paul with it. Here's Looney. to Paul. He got a piece of it. Pass to Jones. Gafford with the ball. Gafford with a screen on Curry. Poole, the pass to Gafford. With a break here, let's see which teams racked up the assists during last year's campaign. The Warriors, number one. It was a joy to watch these guys play. Constant ball movement and player movement. Defenses were worn out by the end of games. And the first one at the line is good. This is hard to believe, Grant, but the Wizards haven't been to the conference finals since 1979. It is hard to believe. I mean, they've had some fantastic players over the years. But let me tell you, these fans in my hometown are hungry for a deep playoff run. Jarich checks in for the Warriors. Wiggins comes in for Draymond Green. Wiggins outside. Shot clock at six. Pass to Paul. And the layup falls. Paul's gotten his second bucket of the game. Well, you'd think because of his frame, it would be easy to knock Chris Paul off balance, but this guy has concentration and tenacity. Really good job keeping his focus. Now here's Gafford. Kuzma up top, pounded by Wiggins. Kuzma, the pass to Poole. Gafford with a screen on Wiggins. Kuzma for three. The Warriors pull it in. 
their first look at this year's Washington squad. And <laughs> they dominated this team last season. Big difference in talent level. Two open that time. Made it look easy. Well, in case anyone has forgotten Steph Curry with a reminder of what ridiculous range he has, it's amazing how he's able to maintain technique even from that distance. Now here's Gafford. He's got seven. It's Poole on the wing. He's guarded by Paul. Stolen by Wiggins. Paul passes to Wiggins. Crafty move. And Gafford with the block. Poole with the ball. And it's Paul picking him up. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for Washington. They've been pretty intimidating on the defensive end, knocking away shootings, containing shooters, and making it tough to find looks. And the other thing that's working for them tonight, getting out into the open floor, a lot of the damage coming in transition. Kaminga, he's checked in for the Warriors. Payton comes in for Chris Paul. Curry from deep three-point land. Another three for Golden State. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. It's Poole on the wing. Second shot opportunity. The rebound by Payton. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. Now here's Curry. He has six. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Pass to Jones. Nice D from Thompson. The Warriors have got 6 of 14 in so far. The layup off target. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. Kuminga against Jones. And there's a pick. Shot is up. And yes, it goes. Got a little English on that one. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Now here's Thompson. Knocks down the long J. Thompson's got six. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Here's Jones. It's a three-point game. Gafford up top. Back to Jones. Pass to Abdia. Here's Koulibaly. The three. Counted. All three of his attempts have gone in. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. And so it's Curry with it. He brings it up for Golden State. Right side, Peyton. And here's Thompson for three. Another three for Golden State. Clay Thompson is not about to let a three go unanswered. Big time shot. Now Jones. Pass to Koulibaly. Inside. That's good from Jones. And the assist, the assist. by Avdia. Denny. Jones has gotten his second bucket. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. And here are the Warriors now. Trailing by five. Wiggins outside. Up top, Curry. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. 1.56 left in the first. Kuminga's shot is off. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Well, Denny Avdia was born in Israel, where we don't see many NBA players hail from, Doris. No, B.A., definitely a rare sight. He is just the this fourth so player true. from Israel since 2010 to debut in the NBA. This is why we love the game. It has such a worldwide reach. Curry finds Kaminga. Outside Curry. Let's it fly. And it's Koulibaly with a rebound. And it didn't fall, but still a great look. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. A 
minute nine left to play in the first. Curry against Jones. Pass to Payton. Back to Curry. And here is Thompson. Clock at six. Puts it up from 17. Washington with a rebound. Kulabali's well, got four rebounds now. Well, that's just inconsistency from him, and it's happened all night, and it hasn't helped their cause. Gafford the screen. Down low. And he lays it up and in. And now it's an 11-point Wizard lead. <laughs> this run has been fueled by their Matador defense. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Curry from deep three point land. Sinks it. What range from downtown. You cannot give Curry an inch. This guy is relentless when he's behind the arc. Poole against Thompson. Poole outside. Koulibaly. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen, but it is offline. And so the first quarter is in the books. Wizards out in front. They lead by eight. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. All right, let's quickly break down the game and what we've seen so far from the Wizards, guys. Well, I'm really loving their activity. I mean, they're contesting shots. They've really set a strong tone early. Well, as a shooter, when the ball is sent back in your direction enough times, it can certainly have an impact on your mind. The Wizards with the lead. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Gary Payton the second. Then it's Corey Joseph. Then there's Chris Paul. And it's Kaminga in at the five. That's the Warriors five. Now here's Kuzma. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will have it. Basketball. Golden State has got the six of ten three-pointers to drop. Pass to Wiggins. Over Avdia. Again, the Andrew Warriors score. Wiggins. Oh, really smooth. Andrew Wiggins with the terrific mid-range game. Ball against Wright. Here's Shamit. Now Muscala. Let's go with a three. Missed it. Now 0 for 1 on this game. Wiggins passes to Paul. Shoot from the baseline. Rebound Washington. They've led by as many as 11. And after this game wraps up, they're off to Indiana, where they'll face the Pacers. It's the last meeting in a four-game road trip. Here's Shamit. Off target from three-point range. The Warriors trailing. Pass to Paul. And just about a minute and a half has passed here in the second quarter. And the basket is good. Loves to put his head down and force the issue inside. Has the gift for playing downhill. Washington has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Muscala with it. Now here's Kuzma. Over Payton. The rebound by Wiggins. And he lobs it up. Right with a steal. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Muscala, the screen. Over to the wing. Jacks up a three. Knocks it down from distance. Muscala's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Well, Doris, the Wizards have some star power, but they're kind of stuck in the middle of things. B.A., unless you have time. 
top free agents coming your way. It is so hard to get over the hump. It's about drafting well. Your player development has to be next level. It is not easy for the Washington Wizards right now. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Draymond Green is one of the most versatile defenders in league history. He said, quote, I'm comfortable guarding anybody. But he also said, I love playing against those big guys. They're thinking they've got a mismatch, but I'm built for this. It won't be as easy as you think it's going to be, Brian. Allie, he always takes that challenge, doesn't he? Thank you. It's Kuzma with the miss. The Warriors have gone two of four here in the second quarter. Joseph passes to Payton. All against right. And count the basket. He was fouled. And he's going to the line for one more. Well, Grant and his Hall of Fame resume, just about the only thing missing from Chris Paul is the title. And he had a shot in Phoenix, but while Golden State perhaps not the favorites, with these other future Hall of Famers, I think the opportunity remains. Draymond Green, he's checked in for the Warriors. Clay Thompson comes in for Joseph. And Grant players often looking to exaggerate contact. You like the new idea to call text for flopping? You know, B.A., it's even better than the fines they did in the past and posting it online. I mean, with the tech, now it's hurting you on the court. So if you ask me, it's long overdue. Just five to shoot. Back to Kuzma. The three ball knocks down the triple. Kuzma's got the second bucket on the night. All Kuzma needed was the basketball. His feet were planted. He was ready on the catch. And here's Paul. He's got nine. Here's Green. It's tipped. Outside Jones. Here's Koulibaly, guarded by Payton. Kuzma, the pass to Avdia. Back to Kuzma. This one for three. And the Wizards with another three. That's Kyle Kuzma just rising above the pressure to deliver the made jumper. Ball passes to Green. Pass to Thompson. Paul for three. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Paul's got eight points here in the quarter. Scoring well this quarter. Picking up steam as he goes. Washington. Now a timeout called by Washington. For the Wizards, Gafford's checked in. Domination, GS outside Jones, Kuzma outside. Jones, the pass to Kuzma. Gafford with a screen on Kaminga, six to shoot. Jones from outside, and it falls for him. He's hit three of his first four attempts. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. And so it's Paul who brings up the ball for the Warriors. It's a 10-point game. Outside Kaminga to the middle. Here's Thompson. Clay busting it up inside. Well, his height coming in handy there at 6'6". Six six. Clay Thompson says, this is money for me. Washington's gone four of seven from three during the second quarter. Shamit passes to Kuzma. Gafford with a screen on Kaminga. Kuzma down low. Kaminga's on him. Kuzma, that's good. Now Kuzma doing work in the painted area. That's beautiful. The Warriors have gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. Wiggins outside. Jones against Paul. Over Jones. Rebound Washington. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Jones with a screen on Thompson. 
Shaman can't get it to fall. 0 for 2 now. Golden State has gone 1 of 2 from deep in the second quarter. Ball passes to Green. Outside Kaminga. Pass to Paul. The three is up. The rebound by Shamit. And lockdown defense against one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Ooh. Let's it go from 14. And the Warriors miss again. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. Here's Koulibaly, hounded by Wiggins. Kuzma against Kaminga. Six on the shot clock. Now here's Kuzma. He's covered closely. Excellent D there from Kuminga. Golden State has gone 7 of 13 from downtown so far in this game. Gafford against Green. Pass to Wiggins. Back to Thompson. He drains it as the shot clock ticks down. Thompson's got 13. You know, Clay Thompson is calm, cool, and collected. The quick release to beat the shot clock. Now a timeout called by Art. Washington. for Kaminga, and it's Curry in for Chris Paul. Kispert's checked in for Washington. Poole comes in for Shaman. Jones with the ball. Green picks him up. Back to Jones. Pass to Gafford. Here's Kispert. Puts up a three. Gets the three ball to go. Kispert's gotten himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. The Warriors have gotten six of their 12 attempts to go since the end of the first. Up top, Curry. Oh, he sticks that one from 20 feet. Well, late rotation by the defense, and Wiggins has the vision to find the open man. The Wizards for the lead. Pass to Gafford. Outside Jones. Here's Kispert. Cool outside. Off target from outside. Thompson against Poole. Thompson passes to Curry. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his third assist of the night. Another triple for him. His fourth of the night after that monster first quarter where he hit three of them. Now here's Gafford. 11 points in the game. Here's Kispert, guarded by Peyton. Six to shoot. Kispert, the pass to Gafford. That one falls. Well, this guy has been efficient and effective all night. That IQ has been on display. And some changes here for the Warriors. Looney's checked in for Andrew Wiggins. And it's Paul in for Peyton. And a change for the Wizards. Kuzma's checked in. He hasn't drawn as many fouls this quarter. Isn't playing with the same edge he started out with. And so it's Poole who brings up the ball for the Wizards. Kuzma outside. Puts it up from 15. Looney grabs a miss. Looney's got five rebounds in the game. Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. And they had early success from the perimeter, but I don't understand how they've gotten away from that here in the second. The Wizards have gotten seven of 16 shots to go in the second. Kuzma with a screen on Thompson. Poole outside. Back to Jones. Just five on the clock. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Jones has got nine. What a burst out of that first step. Straight to the hole. 133 left to play in the first half. Thompson finds Curry.
Washington's gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. Pass to Gafford. Kuzma against Green. Kuzma, the pass to Poole. Back to Kuzma. And we're going to have a jump ball. No ball. Jump ball. Here's Gafford. Looney grabs a miss. Looney's got six rebounds here tonight. And we haven't seen them pound the ball inside and draw as much contact this quarter. Curry passes to Thompson. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Thompson's got nine points now in the quarter. Yeah, he's in his bag from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. And I think the defender knows once he gets cooking, look out. The bucket looks awfully big to him right now. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. Kuzma outside. Cool a screen on green. Down to five on the shot clock. Curry with a steal. Well, getting in the lane and making your presence known is crucial part of the defense for these guys. And you can tell they're in sync right now. Expertly turning the steal into fast break points. Now here's Poole. Takes the three. Look at Poole showing the range. Free ball. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. Wizards out in front, leading by four. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Here with Coach Steve Kerr, your defense struggling to contain them in the first half. How do you remedy it? we got to uh, get back in transition. we got to make them feel us. You know, they're just running anything they want. We've got to at least disrupt the stuff they're trying to do. Thank you, Coach. Allie, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. Washington Wizards in our featured matchup, and what a competitive half it's been. The way they've attacked the lane, oh my God, it's almost Shaq-like. They've been DPR, Shaq. Decisive physical, and relentless. I think that just brought a tear to my eye, Kenny. I love you. And moving along now, let's take a look at some upcoming matchups. Well, I think for the Warriors, at this point, you gotta take every team you're up against as a test. Asking yourself, what can we do better than last year? Happens for us, too. Kenny, you cook up any new approaches in the offseason? Well, I'm going to reveal those, you know, over time, not just all in one sitting. But you're right. There is an opportunity to stretch and experiment. See what's working and what isn't. And that'll do it for us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll head back down to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the third quarter. In that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. Stephen Curry having a dominant impact in this game. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And one would expect that the defense made some adjustments at halftime, but he has the ability to answer right back. On the court for Washington. Kuzma, the four, down low with Gafford next to him. Tyus Jones is out there with Jordan Poole. And it's Koulibaly in at the small forward position. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. And Koulibaly. that one's good. Koulibaly's got nine points. You always want some of your points coming inside. It's essential to running a well-balanced offense. Now here's Thompson. Puts up a deep three. Gafford grabs the miss. Thompson against Jones. 20 feet out. Rebounded by Green. Probably not the shot they had in mind. A clean look. Curry against Kuzma. 
The three from Thompson. Oh, and Clay makes that three look so easy. Clay Thompson will be one of the most lethal scorers in the league. It happens quick with this guy. Pool outside. Pass to Gafford. There's the double with Thompson. Jones from outside. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two, taking pride and making plays. Now here's Curry. He's got 18. Thompson outside. The three is up. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got his fourth assist with that last one. He's been hot from out there, helping to keep them in this game. And you don't need to tell him that. He's used the three-point shot as his primary weapon today. Jones against Thompson. Kuzma outside. Pass to Poole. It's rebounded by Golden State. Out left to the wing. Outside for Green for the tie. Here's Looney. Oh, Looney, cool and calm at the rim. It's not easy to work the ball inside in this league, but they've done it all night. Gafford with a screen on Thompson. Jones, the pass to Gafford. Comes up empty down low. The Warriors have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Pass to Looney. Oh, Looney with the smooth move inside. Uh, Clay Thompson understanding how to read the floor and make the right choice. Yes, he can score it, but good vision there. Now a timeout called by Washington. One of the stories here, Clay Thompson. Man, is he getting it done today? Yeah, I think they've got to be talking about just guarding him a little more tightly on the perimeter or keep the ball out of his hands as much as possible, period. That's about the only way you're going to pull this guy off. All right, let's take a second to view the 2K leaderboard and look at last season's top scoring squads. The Warriors, second. And last year, I liked watching this team operate on the offensive end. The ball movement, the patience, the confidence. You love seeing all that come together. Gafford in the post, green covering, and it's Gafford missing. Green with the ball. Yet to see a basket. Thompson outside. Back to Paul, to the inside. Oh, look at Looney at the rim. Is there anybody better than Chris Paul at putting the ball on time and on target? Now Jones, he's got 12. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. Pass to Poole, five on the clock. And another miss by Washington. Well, after hitting one triple in the first half, it's been all radio silence since. Here's Curry for three, and that one's good. And Green with the assist. And it's a six-point Warrior lead. It would be easy to take for granted the greatness we see every time Stephen Curry hits the floor. Another special performance right now. Now a timeout called by Washington. Jones against Thompson. Gafford with a screen on Thompson. Pass to Gafford. Shot clock at six. He's got it. Six of ten now. Assistant, Tyus Jones. And the Warriors with possession. They're on a 15 to five run. Curry with it. Poole picks him up. They double-team Curry. Looney inside. Pass to Green. Just four to shoot. Kuzma with the defensive effort. Washington trailing. And here's Jones. 12 points for him. And let's 
get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Their offensive game plan has been simple. Look to shoot it often from outside the arc. And the results have been outstanding. I think it's also important we mention the number of assists this group has tallied. Their offense continues to just hum along right now. Curry against Poole. Launches it. They get it again. Out to Thompson from the arc. Sinks it from distance. Thompson's got 27 points. When you let a team knock down that many threes, you know you're likely to be on the wrong side of a run. Gafford with a screen on Curry. Cool for three. The Wizards with another miss. Boy, a tough go for him in this quarter. You can see how desperately he wants to get things started. He just can't make a shot. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. And so it's Jones who brings up the ball for the Wizards. They trail by seven. Blocked! Left side pole. Pass to Thompson. Now Curry puts up a deep three. Looney passes to Curry. They double team Curry. For three, clock at six. The three from Thompson. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Paul's got four assists in the game. Here's Jones. 14 points for him. Pool outside. Jones against Thompson. Floats one up. Jones, his shot is good. Jones. This is why you want ball movement and player movement. And that's made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual. Now here's Curry. 21 points in the game. And here's Thompson for three. And the Warriors with another three. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Curry against Poole. Kuzma, the open look. And that's up and in. Five for 12 in this game. You can see Kuzma spreads out the defense. The ability to make that jump shot so critical. Well, the unique pregame fashion sense of Kyle Kuzma always seems to be generating buzz to us. I like it, B.A. He is very tapped into the fashion world. He certainly has shown off some intriguing, shall we say, looks on his way into the building. But I am all about it. And it's Green missing. I'll tell you, his shot is just lost right now. There's just no consistency. Amazing that they're still up in this basketball game. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. The Warriors are pursuing a two-timeline approach, competing for titles while also building a young core for their future. It does not come cheap. This season, they're paying record-high luxury tax with the total team payroll around half a billion. Brian, the commitment to winning now and down the road is evident. Deep pockets, Allie, that's for sure. Thank you. Now here's Jones. 16 points for him. Gafford with a screen on Thompson. Jones from outside. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Andrew Wiggins checked in for the Warriors. Muscala, he's checked in for Washington. Avdia comes in for Kuzma. Sends it home from three-point land. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Muscala, the screen. Pass to Koulibaly. Shot clock at five. And too long on the shot. I don't know if you can credit the defense for that. It was just a missed opportunity. Paul passes to Looney. And here is Thompson. Launches a three. Rebound, Washington. koulibaly has got five rebounds tonight. Outside Jones. The 
13 feet out. And there it is for him. Is Jones. Jones has got nine points in the quarter. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. Thompson, no good. Yeah, and the defense really respects his shooting ability, and they showed it with that tight coverage. Two That's to Kulabali. Muscala, the screen. Now here's Jones. Here's Kulabali. He's got nine. A deep three. That is Stephen Curry with the rebound. Three left in the third quarter. Ball with it. Back to Thompson. From behind the arc. The rebound by Muscala. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. Right. He stays connected and great timing on the contest. Pass to Poole. From outside the arc. He buries it from three. Poole's got 13. I'll tell you, you are playing with fire anytime you leave this guy open. And they just got burned. Ball passes to Wiggins. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Paul's got his fifth assist in this one. A terrific timing on that catch and shoot. Wiggins in complete command. And it's Jones with the ball for the Wizards. Forty-three seconds left in the third quarter. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It goes on Chris Paul. The officials were right on top of that. And it knocks down the first one. And some changes here for the Warriors. Green's checked in for Looney. Kaminga comes in for Clay Thompson. And Peyton is subbed in for Curry. Kuzma's checked in for Washington. Shamit comes in for Poole. Pass to Green. Up top, Paul. Here's Peyton. Takes a three. Connects from downtown. Peyton's got his first three points of the game. He took what the defense was giving him that time. There was nobody on him on the three-point shot. Boy, don't give him the lights out. Muscala, the pass to Jones. No good there. Green with the defensive effort. And Peyton, here we go. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Defensive foul. Landry Schimmick. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Warriors. Gary Payton. Yeah, the free throw, no good. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. What has them in front right now, by and large, they're taking great shots. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And he definitely deserves the award. Leading the defense like a point guard. He's got the size to survey over the top of the defense and find the open man. That was beautiful. This is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. Thompson and Wiggins on the wing. Kaminga is out there with Draymond Green. And it's Joseph in at the one spot. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Yeah, I know. He usually makes you pay from that range. Pass to Muscala. Now here's Wright. He's closely guarded. Here's Avdia. Here's the three. The rebound by Wiggins. 
to the paint. Here's Green, and it's hammered home by Green. Boy, you'd love to see the lift Draymond Green gets on these dunks. Once he's established, forget about it. Now Muscala. Pass to Kuzma. Over Green. Kuzma, that's good. Yeah, you can feel the temperature rising in this arena. Both teams pouring it on offensively. There's been a bit of a flurry here late, and this game may come down to which side gets a stop or two. And the Warriors with possession here. The Wizards making their last shot. Now here's Wiggins, defended by Kuzma. Four on the clock, Thompson outside. Connects again from distance. Marries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A. Unbelievable. And just about a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. And the basket by Shaman. Well, coaches might discourage that kind of look, but he'll take it anyway. Here's Joseph, pounded by Wright. Thompson outside. And the Warriors with another three. This guy is on the short list of the all-time great three-point shooters. Clay Thompson's stroke is flawless. Pass to Muscala. Here's Avdia. Back to Kuzma. Muscala, the pass to Kuzma. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Kuzma. That looks like a lack of focus. You've got to question what he was trying Checking to accomplish the there. Gafford, he's Number checked in for Washington. Daniel Gafford. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Wiggins outside. Pure from three-point range. And the Warriors lead by 16. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. The Wizards have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Shamit passes to Gafford. And here is Kuzma, hounded by Wiggins. The ball's knocked loose. And as it goes out of bounds, Washington able to keep possession. Ball. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. You know, you can't ask for any better defense than that. He responded so fast to the shooter, and it stifled him. Right, the open look. The rebound by Wiggins. And Wiggins has got the ball here for the Warriors. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. Here's Joseph, pounded by Wright. And here's Thompson for three. Avdia pulls it in. Well, the Wizards shooting 51%. Good clip from the field. It's Wright on the wing. Kuzma outside. Gafford with a screen on Kaminga. 4-3. And another miss by Washington. The Warriors have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Thompson draws the double. Fires for three. Washington with a rebound. Gafford's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Shaman. Green covering. Pass to Shaman. Six to shoot. Gafford with a screen on green. They still need this. And the bucket is good from Gafford in deep. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. And it's the Warriors with the ball. So far in the fourth, they've allowed just six points. Thompson outside. Now green. And it's hammered home by green. Well, not exactly one of those big, burly power forwards, right? He depends on his leaping ability more than those guys, and it serves him just fine. The Wizards have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Gafford the screen. It's right on the wing. To the middle. The jump hook. And finished off by Gafford as he lays it in. Gafford's got 19 points. I'll tell you, what a night. He has been efficient. He's been strong. Unfortunately, they're still fighting an uphill battle. 
the Warriors have gone five of eight from the field so far in the fourth. Here's Joseph, pounded by Wright. Thompson outside. Fires in the triple. Thompson's got 42 in the game. They're really employing a deep range initiative here in the fourth, and it's working. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection, swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. And some changes here for the Warriors. Looney's checked in for Kaminga. Stephen Curry comes in for Clay Thompson, and it's Paul in for Joseph. Now here's Poole. And looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. Well, his turnovers certainly aren't making it any easier for them. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Payton's checked in for Draymond Green. Now here's Peyton. Wiggins looking around. Unloads from 13. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal foul. Yeah, you have got to be cautious around Chris Paul. He understands how to lean and when to draw contact. That's good from Paul. Back in 2020, you were in the Orlando bubble doors. Called the NBA Finals. What was that experience like? It was the most unusual circumstance I've ever been put in in the game of basketball. I hate the idea that people call it the, quote, bubble title. Please know that that was grueling to have been away from your family for several months at a time in the most unusual of circumstances. But here's what I know unequivocally. I hope we never go back. Three-pointer. And it's Koulibaly missing. Golden State has gotten four of seven three-pointers to fall in the fourth. Pass to Paul. Out of bounds. It'll be Washington's ball. And the Warriors making a change here. Thompson's checked in. Number 11. Clay Thompson. Washington has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Kuzma outside. Gets the three to fall. Kuzma. Kuzma's got 10 points here in the second half. Boy, picking up where he left off. His second from distance is half five overall. Outside Curry. Looney, a screen on Jones. And here's Curry for three. Rebounded by Kuzma. Kuzma's got six rebounds now in the game. Inside. Shoots. Gafford. He gets it to go again. Nine for 13 so far. He's bringing a lot of energy to this offense. Not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now. And to me, he's just playing smart, efficient basketball. Really helping his team hang around this one. Curry against Jones. Pulls it. Curry gets the bucket. Curry's got 23 points. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Jones from outside. The Warriors pull it in. Earlier in the game, they led by 19. Back to Curry from deep three-point land. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Paul's got his seventh assist here tonight. Boy, how fast is Stephen Curry's release on the catch? Wow. And so it's Poole who brings up the ball for the Washington Wizards. 19-point game. Pass to Koulibaly. Kuzma up top, pounded by Wiggins. Kuzma down low, working on Thompson, and he gets the bucket. Give him 23. That is Kyle Kuzma asserting himself against quality defense. Nice finish. Outside Paul. Curry draws the double. Wiggins for three. Another three for Golden State. They keep attacking from the three-point range here in the second half.
Washington has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Pool against Paul. Pass to Koulibaly. Back to Pool. Let's it go from deep. Nails it from three. Both teams are starting to find a rhythm here. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. Let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Clay Thompson. This has been one of the most dominant performances I've ever seen. What's incredible is he has no off switch. Just a tremendous... And again for three. The parade of threes has no end in sight. He just keeps knocking them down. And that latest triple ties him for second for most threes in a game. What a monster performance from deep it's been. And he's tied Curry's mark from 2016, which was the top spot for a little while. And he is taking this game over. And Grant, you grew up in the D.C. area. A lot of great basketball players coming out of the DMV in recent years. Yeah, B.A., especially PG County with Kevin Durant, Jeremy Grant, and plenty of others. It was a great place to grow up in the DMV as a sports fan, and that legacy definitely continues. Looney, the screen, and here's Curry for three. Jones grabs the board. Washington has gone two of six so far in the fourth. And there's Poole Jordan. on the assist from Jones. Poole's got five points in the quarter. Well, exposing a weakness in the defense, that's just way too easy, guys. They have really been in control of this one. You don't want to get complacent here. Green with a screen on Poole. Here's Curry. Lays it up and banks it in. Well, Steph Curry, one of the most dynamic ball handlers in the game. He has more moves than you can count. The Wizards shooting around 53%, a nice number. There's a screen. Jones, a pass to Poole. It's stolen by Looney. Two minutes, two minutes, Thompson two with it. Outside, Green. Pass to Looney. And here's Wiggins. Outside Curry. Down to five on the shot clock. They get it back. Looney. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality. Even with the game in total control. This is a textbook example of playing the possession and not the score. This team is doing a great job continuing to execute. outside and again Washington with a triple and the distance between the point totals for these teams tells the whole story just a fantastic effort and you have to give it up for the Warriors they had to fight for this one with the game hanging in the balance a couple of times they made winning plays Grant it's all about having a strong mentality. What's interesting is that any time momentum turned against them, instead of folding, they responded with their own attack. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. Always good to start a season series off with a W. They show tonight they take this team seriously, and the next two matchups between these two should be fun. And what a huge performance it was for Klay Thompson. What you love about his performance is that he is simply taking what the defense allows and then making the most of his opportunities. Outside, Green drills it from deep. And the Warriors lead by 18. Their home crowd has energized them all game. Now they're closing it out. Well, for all intents and purposes, this game is over. Just a matter of time here. Pool a screen on Thompson. Golden State foul, Stephen Curry. Second personal foul, third team foul. That's good from Jones. Shooting for Washington, Tyus Jones. So he picks up just one from the line that time. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Joseph. Outside Peyton. Five on the clock. Fires from deep. Joseph can't hit. 
And so it's the Warriors taking care of business in this one. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just looked lost. And the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Stefan, a slow start. Did something feel different for you in the second half? No, I just made some shots. It's uh, really the best explanation I got for you. We uh, we got challenged at halftime in terms of getting a little edge around uh, what we were trying to accomplish tonight. Uh, it took us a while to, to really gain momentum in, in this game. Well, the adjustments paid off. Congrats on the win. Allie, thank you as always. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and our entire crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in as New Balance presents our player of the game, Clay Thompson.